Hey guys, how you doing? In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can build a React sidebar navigation menu like this one. As you can see, it's expandable and I can access my items and I can also have some sub items in my menu. So let's start building something like this. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider subscribing okay here's my react project it's completely new project so the first thing that i need to do is to install a library it is called react site nav okay here is my component and thanks to react 18 i don't need to import react on top of my file anymore uh, so let's import site nav from trend micro react site nav import again this folder react site nav that css and here i'm gonna return my site nav i should define a function when any item pressed in my menu i should have a listener to listen to it and change the page so it will be on select prop and it will send me the selected item I will explain to you later what it will be and for now I just have console log selected and let's close the side nav and I will have my items in my list as a child the first child that we need to have is the toggle button for my menu so side nav toggle and yeah that's it then i can define my items in my navigation bar side nav nav and i can define the default selected option can be for example home and within this component i will be defining every row that i have in my menu so for each row i'm gonna using nav item component for example i'm gonna have one row and within this component i'm gonna have a nav icon for my icon and another component named nav text for the name of my menu item so the first one is gonna be home and here i'm gonna use font awesome library for my icons so i can define it like this f a f a f w f a home icon and the other thing which i want to define is the size so style font size should be 1.5 em i need to go to my app file remove this part and i need to just load my component here yeah and this my side nav should be like this and yeah as you can see it is added and my home is here but there is no any icon because i haven't added the font awesome library yet the only thing that i need to do is go to my uh, index html file in the head section i need to add this part this line of code it is loading the uh, cdn file of font awesome library but i need uh, the last version so uh, i can come to this website and see list of all the versions and i just can copy it and replace it with this one and yeah you can see the icon is added right before the home label here now i'm gonna add all the items of my menu here and just i'm copy and pasting this section and just changing the icon and the text and to see what icons can we use we can go to the fontawesome.com website and start searching and as you can see if i click on this i can see what class name exactly should i use for having this icon so i'm gonna have it here and do the same for all the other icons that i have okay now we have all the many items but there's a small problem our sub menus haven't added to this yet 
So to do that, I'm gonna go here inside my last nav item, which is for charts. I'm gonna add another nav item as a child. And inside this, I will have another nav text and just copy and paste it for revenue yeah as you can see it's added but the other problem is we cannot select items in our menu and it doesn't change to achieve this we have to add another prop to our nav item which is named event key we can use anything we want for example for this one i'm gonna use home messages settings charts new users and finally revenue okay now you can see we can select them and if i open my console you will see the name of item that i clicked on awesome i want to customize it and change the color i'm gonna define a class name here name it my side nav and then go to my css file i don't need it anymore so let's use it my side nav and then change the background color like this and also let's have another font for our items to look better the next thing that i want to have in this project is when i click on the messages uh, item i want to go to the messages screen but as you can see it doesn't change and we don't see any difference here so to achieve this i need another library which is for having several and different pages in react which is named react rotor dom yarn add react rotor dom we are using the sixth version of this awesome library which is really easy to use so I will be going to the app.js file and here I need to import some stuff browser rotor as my rotor I'm gonna name it rotor to be easy roads and road I will be showing you how different they are and from react rotor done yeah that's it first of all for rotor I need to wrap everything in my app within the rotor component so I changed my div to rotor that's it and we can have my side nav here but for having different rotors I'm gonna use the roads component here and within it we can define each road or pages that we have in our project for example i'm gonna go to the src folder create another folder name pages and i'm gonna create a page for each page that we have in our project like home.js and just export it i'm gonna copy paste it for other pages that we have yeah let's get back into our app.js file and define a road for each of our pages road path the path that we can use for example for home we can use slash home and here i can import and have my component for home which is the home component yeah so easy like this and then close my road component copy paste for other pages that we have messages and another thing is just having a css rule here like font size 5 rem and text align to center yeah you can see we are at slash home and messages yeah it's working but it's not connected to our menu yet first we need to use a hook which is from the react rotor dom library to change the active page it's named use navigate so i first need to define it navigate use navigate and i need to import it of course and now so easy i can use navigate parentheses and inside it i can define the 
path that we have here like slash home slash messages and etc so i'm gonna keep the slash here like this and append the text to it which text is selected and it is the name of it for example it will be a slash home slash messages oh what i'm doing because we have sub items inside our charts this one exceptionally won't run anytime yeah it works perfect and if we open it we can go to the revenue page and other kind of stuff thank you guys for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and if you saw please leave it a like see you in the next one